Parks. Right now, Jawan Parks is actually still locked up in Jackson. He's a parolee, so he was sent there on a parole violation. And if he's convicted on these new crimes, he could spend the rest of, he will spend the rest of his life in prison. Today we charged Mr. Parks with 16 counts um, dealing with the four officers that were involved in this particular event and of course the tragic death of Officer McLean. In the killing of veteran Detroit police officer Rasheen McLean, Jawan Parks is the 28 year old now charged with a long list of crimes, including first degree premeditated murder and felon in possession. On November 20th, the ex-con who has a history of assault is accused of luring officers to the basement of his house on Wyoming and then with this high powered rifle opening fire on the officers, hitting McLean in the neck and shooting his partner, but Tomb BC in the leg. Investigators say officers Danny Chambers and Joseph Weaver exchanged gunfire with Juwan Parks as he tried to get away, but they were able to arrest him a block away. Today, Wayne County Prosecutor Kim Worthy announcing the 16 felony counts against Parks, including murder and three counts of assault with intent to murder, crimes that have devastated a city, a police department, but above all, those who loved Officer McLean the most. Obviously, the most difficulty goes to the family of the officer that was killed and the three officers that were involved in this as well. Whenever you have a law enforcement official that is killed, especially in the line of duty, it's hard for us all. So we are continuing to monitor the courthouse and also checking with officials in Jackson because it is possible to do a video arraignment here at 36th District Court in Detroit from the prison in Jackson. We'll certainly keep you updated. Reporting live in downtown Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you, Anne-Marie.